The tire pressure sensor integrated into the valve is already widely available on the market. It's not actually difficult to replace it, as long as you know what to do. Our expert Tobias Stefan will now explain it to you. First, I have to push the sensor through the hole in the rim and screw on the hex nut from the other side. It's really important to use the torque wrench and to apply the correct torque for the specific sensor. It's also important to make sure that the sensor housing is lying flat against the rim surface and is not up in the air or fitted crooked. When servicing an existing sensor, it's of course very important to follow the proper removal sequence. And it's essential that the valve core is nickel plated. And there's another rule for the valve caps. They must always be made of plastic. Hang on! There is of course one more important final thing. Performing a vehicle relearn with the sensors. For example using a video diagnostic unit. After the tire has been fitted of course. And video also offers the appropriate TPMS assembly tools. Then you've always got the right tool in hand when you fit the sensors. If you'd like to learn a lot more about TPMS sensors, the different types, the mounting process and how they work, then just have a look at what the Continental Training Center has to offer on this and many other topics. We'll be happy to see you.